amongst the Muslim countries in the world, one of the best countries available in the world is Malaysia. And Alhamdulillah, I really admire the guts. No Muslim country had the guts, but Malaysia had the guts. In the war crime tribunal, they laid and they said the people responsible for fabricating evidence is the former president of USA, George Bush and Tony Blair. If they set foot in Malaysia, we will arrest them. Mashallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah teman-teman sekalian kita masih diberikan kenikmatan oleh Allah Subhanahu wa taala sehingga kita dapat menikmati nikmat yang Allah berikan ini dan jangan lupa guys panjatkan puja dan bersyukur kita kepada Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Jangan lupa juga bersolawat kepada baginda Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Oke guys, gimana kabar teman-teman semua? Semoga sehat selalu dalam lindungan Allah Subhanahu wa taala, dijauhkan dari segala mara bahaya, malapetaka bencana dan balak serta berbagai macam penyakit. Amin amin ya rabbal alamin. Oke, di sini ada sebuah video guys bahwasannya Dr. Zakir Naid memuji Malaysia, memuji keberanian dan kehebatan daripada Malaysia dan juga rakyatnya guys ya. Saya penasaran sekali ini ya. Yang istilahnya beliau puji itu keberanian orang-orang Malaysia, rakyat-rakyat Malaysia karena ya kan mempertahankan serta menyuarakan berkaitan isu Islam yang ada di dunia ya jadi di sini daripada channel lemak 40 ya guys ya kita tonton bersama bagaimana dan apa yang disampaikan oleh Dr Zakir Naid kepada orang-orang Malaysia ataupun ya pujiannya kepada orang-orang Malaysia ini guys Jom kita tengok videonya bersama let's go Imagine when our Muslim brothers are dying, they are being killed, they are being tortured. Yeah. In China, at least in Palestine, they can pray openly. Oh. In Palestine, they can fight openly, they can do jihad openly. They can fast. In China, these Shingi and Muslim, most of them aren't allowed to pray. Oh my God. Iyaka. They aren't allowed to fast. They are forced to drink alcohol in Ramadan. If you object, they put you in concentration camp, called as re-education camps. What are we doing? There's so much of evidence available. Some countries say we Muslim countries say we don't have evidence. So what we realize that we Muslims, we haven't understood the real value which is gold yeah if we follow the quran and the seed of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we'll be in a much better position the happiness that we we'll get in our life which we discussed yesterday it's tremendous the problem is we don't read the quran we don't understand the quran we don't read the hadith we don't implement on it happiness doesn't come by wealth Happiness doesn't come by position. Happiness doesn't come by power. Guys, di sini uh, perlu digarisbawahi ya. Mungkin ini pedoman untuk kita semua nantinya ya. Lambang bahagia itu bukan pada kekayaan ya, bukan juga kepada kedudukan, bukan pada pangkat ya, dan juga bukan pada harta. Ini pesan daripada Dr. Zakir Naid ya. Ini juga pesan untuk saya guys ya semoga kita semua ini sadar ya happiness doesn't come by gold yeah. it comes with the satisfaction in your heart Kepuasan. in the memory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allahu Akbar we are in a very pathetic situation and history is repeating itself now they are doing it in India when they could do it in Palestine what are the Muslims doing they are in China what are the Muslims doing So what do we expect the Muslim to do when they're doing in India? I can talk. I'm talking. I knew that I talked in India and high chances I'll be thrown out. Okay. At least I stayed for 25 years. I thought it would be much more earlier. Alhamdulillah. 
we are doing it for our Jannah Akhirah. Yeah. Why aren't the Muslims united on this issue? I'm talking about the Islamic issue, I'm not a politician. I don't do involved in the politics. But we Muslims should unite. And Alhamdulillah, one of the reasons that according to me, amongst the Muslim countries in the world, one of the best countries available in the world is Malaysia. Ooh, wow. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Malaysia continue being the best. We always saw Malaysia fighting for the Palestinian rights, fighting for yeah. the Rohingya rights. We hope it continues. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give the Malaysian the guts and the power. It's a small country, no problem. But if you have the power of Allah, it becomes the most powerful country. But if you want Allah on your side, then you'll become the powerful country. If you don't want Allah on your side, you won't become powerful. So to make it the most powerful country, who do you require? Allah on your side. So if you follow the commandment of Allah, and follow the commandment of the beloved Prophet in the Hadith, you'll become the most powerful country. But if you have faith in Allah, I chose to live in Malaysia because amongst the various, I had offers from about 15 countries. I felt Malaysia amongst, you could say, best of the worst or best available, whatever you want to say. Wow. Suka saya sebut Malaysia yang terbaik, yang terhebat, apapun apa saja di dunia Islam yang ada. Among the Muslim countries, we have 56 majority Muslim countries. I chose that it is good, it's away from the war zone. No, it's not like you see Gulf countries, Yemen, Syria, no, war zone. Betul, betul, betul. Number two, it doesn't have so much of pressure from the Western countries, like the other Muslim countries. Number three, it's a country which has the most powerful Muslim passport. Yeah. 180 countries you can travel without visa. I don't know if all of you, some may be knowing, or may not be keeping track of it. You go to the Henlich's passport, 180 countries without visa. It's an advanced country. It's a country where the federal religion is Islam. You have about two-thirds Muslims living. It's good. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may the Muslims of Malaysia be united. If you are united, you are a stronger force. If you are divided, you'll become weak. Yeah, but so my only advice or suggestion to Muslims all over the world, including Muslims of Malaysia, for Allah's sake, let your differences aside, and for the cause of Islam, we should unite. Betul. Islam perlu bersatu. Keren banget, yes. Betul. And this has been my message always for all the Muslims. If we are united, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 103, Wa tasimu bihabli lai jamia wa la Hold strongly to the rope of Allah and be not divided. So if we unite, the best criteria where we can unite is on the basis of Quran. Whatever the Quran says, at least that is the common factor of Muslims throughout the world. Whether you live in West, East, Arab country, non-Arab country, this is the uniting factor. And inshallah, if we, if we have this uniting factor, there will not be situation like Palestine or China or India 370 or what happened in Afghanistan, what happened in Iraq. And I was happy in Iraq. I was happy that, mashallah, there was, like you have the International Court of Law in Hague, a similar one was started in Kuala Lumpur. Oh. Kuala Lumpur war crimes, KLWC. Okay. And in, I think in the year 2011, if I'm not mistaken, it was started by Dr. Mahathir, and they had the guts okay. and, alhamdulillah, the courage that they had a tribunal of five judges, they had lawyers from different parts of the world, and they put to trial the previous president of USA, George Bush, and the previous president of UK, Tony Blair. And, alhamdulillah, I really admired the guts. No Muslim country had the guts, but Malaysia had the guts. In the war crime tribunal, they laid and they said the people responsible for fabricating evidence is the former president of USA, George Bush and Tony Blair. If they set foot in Malaysia, we will arrest them. MashaAllah.
Allah, baru tahu ini, asli baru tahu guys. Malaysia, small country, had the guts to challenge the superpower with the help of Allah. And they did it. Later on, five years later, 2016, in UK, the Chircot report. They say that America and UK fabricated evidence to show that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction to attack Iraq. So what does Tony Blair come and say? It is, I am very sorry. I regret, the most act I regret ever in my life is this act. That's it. Sorry. Sorry. You know, more than a million people died. Thousands of people in the war. And because of the sanction, millions of children died. And adults died because of sanctions. Only sorry. At least Malaysia, they had the KLWC, Kuala Lumpur war crime. Alhamdulillah. I wish such more tribunals are set up here. And if they can object same way with China, if they can object same thing with India, and all the... We cannot... I'm not telling you do violently. Okay, at least have such... We have the KLWC. Okay, there you can do it. I mean, my suggestion. At least you can say one Muslim country in the world the non-Muslim 22 countries, maybe some may be having benefit or some agenda, whatever it is. At least they stood for the truth. Similarly, what's happening in India? In India, we Muslim the minority, according to government, 14.5%. Muslims say we are about 20-25%, but if we agree with 14.5% also, the here are the non-Muslims, the Hindus are 6.3%, 6.4%. The Hindus in Malaysia get more than 100 times more rights than the Muslims in India. Allah, Good, Alhamdulillah, I'm not saying take away their rights. Good, this is what Muslims should do. They are half the percentage, numbers wise very less, half the percentage of India, where Muslims are. <coughs> Yet the rights they get here is hundred times more than what India gives rights to minority. So much so that they support the Prime Minister of India but not Prime Minister of Malaysia. MashaAllah. The Prime Minister of India wants me. The Prime Minister of Malaysia does not want injustice to be done to me. The Hindu Malaysians are most of them supporting Prime Minister of India. There is no evidence about me in the Malaysian police. Interpol says no evidence. They are believing more in India. They are more Indians than the Malaysians themselves. And yet they are enjoying. Alhamdulillah. At least the Muslims should get their rights. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give more hikmah, more courage to Malaysia to voice out for the rights of the Muslims throughout the world. Hope that answers the question. Allahumma salli ala zina Muhammad. Okay, itulah tadi ya Dr. Zakir Naik ya. Memuji Malaysia karena keberaniannya ya guys ya. Malaysia ada Kuala Lumpur war crime. Allah Akbar itu yang melacak ya kan. Kesalahan-kesalahan ya presiden yang memerintah di Amerika ya guys ya Josh Bush kalau nggak salah ya tadi dan ini juga bisa digunakan untuk istilahnya mencari bukti-bukti gitu kan wow keren banget sih berdiri tegak di dalam kebenaran dan dokter Zakir Naid juga mengatakan tadi nggak apa-apa kecil tapi karena dekat dengan Allah ya kan maka bantuan Allah Subhanahu ta'ala akan datang dan akan ditakuti oleh seluruh dunia seperti itu guys ya betul sekali ya guys ya kita di Indonesia maupun di Malaysia hanya meminta kepada Allah Subhanahu ta'ala kemerdekaan yang ada di Indonesia berkat ya orang-orang yang dekat dengan Allah Subhanahu ta'ala perjuangan pahlawan-pahlawan kita yang dekat dengan Allah Subhanahu ta'ala ya maka Allah Subhanahu ta'ala membantu kita 
Begitu juga sekarang apabila kita dekat dengan Allah Subhanahu wa taala meminta pertolongan kepada Allah, maka otomatis ya, Allah Subhanahu wa taala akan menolong kita. Banyak wali Allah di Malaysia maupun di Indonesia, banyak paku-paku bumi yang mana kekasih-kasih Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Maka kalau kita istilahnya lebih dekat dengan Allah Subhanahu wa taala, kita akan lebih disayang oleh Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Begitulah ya menurut pandangan saya daripada apa yang disampaikan oleh Dr. Zakir Naid ini. Jadi tidak hanya Malaysia, tapi setiap muslim yang membela kebenaran, berdiri tegak dalam kebenaran itu, maka dia hebat. Maka dia itu kuat seperti itu, guys ya. Allahu akbar. Mungkin itu saja video kali ini guys. Terima kasih buat teman-teman semua yang sudah nonton video ini. Gimana komen teman-teman sekalian? Silahkan komen di bawah ya. Ini agak mampet guys saya guys. Jadi ngomongnya agak pelan-pelan gak bisa kenceng. Nanti kalau kenceng nanti agak sengau. Ataupun ya uh, macam apa ya guys ya. Suaranya itu kayak uh, gitulah ya kan. <laughs> kayak macam salsemo aja tuh ya. Oke terima kasih buat teman-teman semua yang sudah support channel ini sampai sekarang. Jangan lupa guys subscribe dan nyalakan loncengnya. Karena channel ini di channel ini akan upload setiap hari ya guys ya insya Allah kita upload setiap hari dengan konten-konten yang menarik seperti itu oke itu saja video kali ini terima kasih mohon maaf apabila ada salah kata mohon dimaafkan Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearrange